messing with the Bronco again. Uh, we got these everything welded on, kind of ground down. I got to do a little bit of hard stone grinding on the back corner. What we're going to do is, I got this cleaned up. This will get seam sealed. We do is come back with 80 and knock this um, this e coat off stuff that comes from the factory when you uh, when the parts are made. So we want to sand that down and use our epoxy on it. At least buzz it down so there's a good grip to it. And then um, got to do a couple more little weld spots there, and then clean up some of the seam sealer. You can see it's kind of chunking off here. Got to open this up and get some of the sand where it was sandblasted out, and then uh, hopefully get it over to the booth and get it painted so i'm gonna go ahead and grab an 80 uh, uh da with some 80 and start buzzing this thing down so we got that thing pretty well sanded down we went over our sandblast area where we're going to paint and sand it with 80 just to make sure got everything welded in got all our spark welds um, welded in and knocked down here and then kind of knock these down and then fill this patch in and then kind of ground this down here the time we put some bed liner you won't really notice that so not too worried about that come back and maybe seam seal some of this stuff up after we epoxy and then um, we got these both rear quarters stripped down, got the e-coat off them so our epoxy goes straight to metal. There's nothing else goofy in between those. Same with the rear pocket that we put on and we ground this down enough to get it epoxy. We got everything kind of buzzed down and cleaned up inside, underneath. One thing we had to do is fill in one of our little holes here, which was a one of the trim holes we forgot to weld up while we we're doing that. And also our selector for the dual fuel fuel tanks this i believe this is getting one in the rear they wanted that one gone so yeah that's pretty much it as far as this goes we got some epoxy so we just gotta get somebody to help me push it next door over to the booth i'm gonna clean this thing out one blow it out one last good time roll it over there and then hopefully get it epoxy today we'll see we'll see how that goes <laughs> this thing epoxied over the weekend and rolled back over here on my side we're gonna back tape the thing so that we can undercoat the bottom of the floor pan up to probably this line here so we'll come across here this will all be body color from that point down all the way through the back will all be bed line and then we're also gonna try to shoot this outside here and underneath here. That's been sitting, today would be 20, 48 hours. So have 72 hours to top coat this. Been pretty cool out, so if anything, it has slowed down on the cure process a little bit. So we should have plenty of time and plenty of a big enough window to get this epoxied, or to get this uh, bed line. And for that, we're gonna use the Raptor kits. So I got about six quarts of that should be enough to do this so anyway i'm gonna get this thing taped up get ready to paint or get ready to bedline sometime today anyway we'll see how that goes <laughs> bedline last night and then closed up and left because it's stinky but so our bedline ends all inside here down inside there and all over here this is that reactor basically ran that's what I say three kids maybe three and a half through here did the whole bottom helps that we epoxied it black first for sure because but I flipped it on its side and then flipped it over and then rolled it on its back hit anything that I could see looking pretty good 
and then we taped it off here, hardlined it, and then taped it, and then taped off the back of this, this will get shot color. I think the next step is probably going to do some work on the engine compartment, but I'm going to give it another day or so for the epoxy to kick before I try to sand it. Anyway, back here, working on the 71s, we got it all seam sealed. I did do some body work on the inside of this wheel wheel, it was had some uh, stuff I believe for like a jack or something here. Ground those off, weld those holes up. Had to do some body work in there for a couple of holes down here, rolled up, and a couple of dents. So we just ended up fixing this. And then right here was kind of boogered up, so we did a little body work right there. And then right here we rolled it up a couple of holes for the uh, throttle pedal. We're going to change the throttle pedal, and I think there was a hole or something here. And there was a kind of a good wow there. So basically, I don't know why my GoPro didn't record that. Same thing as we do on the quarters and stuff. We back taped this so we get a real nice, fine, thin uh seam seal line and then uh that thing has been sanded down and prepped so we're seam sealing it we'll let it dry overnight clean it really well and then uh hopefully get it in the booth in the next couple of days get that thing to uh get some orange on that so that's kind of where we're at right now well, like i say don't know what happened to the footage from the uh, gopro but uh we'll try again and we'll seam seal this all up and then uh hopefully uh get it ready to put some paint on it Here we got that thing seam sealed up yesterday, let it set. Came back, scotch brighted it with a red scotch bright pad anywhere my seam sealer was to give it a little bit of texture for our paint to stick, and then back taped the whole thing. So it's pretty well ready to go. It was pretty well ready to go. Got it all back taped here, so we're gonna overspray into the inside, which eh, it's not that important there, but I don't want it to go underneath, and also because we've got, I don't want it to go underneath because we've got the whole thing bedlined, basically from the toe pan all the way back. I don't want to cover that with any kind of overspray. And also, this is not the frame that we're using. This is actually a loner frame. So we can keep the body nice and rigid. So every time I talk, that thing goes off. Uh, where were we? Oh, and then I, so what I did is we taped this off, sealed the frame tight because there's still a bunch of crap in the frame. So uh, anytime we roll it over, it's kind of spitting some stuff out. So just to be safe, we've got it taped up pretty good. So that's kind of where we're at on this. We're going to roll over the booth and I'll probably have the painter paint it. I don't know if that's kind of where we're at. If I do, I'll set up a GoPro. If I don't, then uh, we'll just bring it back over here and we'll uh, show you the progress we made. But anyway, that's the plan on that. So we're just waiting on the booth to get done and... Uh, Hopefully we'll let that thing over and get painted today. 